In the Unit 4 VCD exam, you may have to draw in isometric. This could involve converting an orthogonal drawing or a perspective drawing into isometric view. You'll need to be aware of where the corner angle is. So often in the exam question, you're um, told which corner you're drawing the isometric drawing from and you need to take that into consideration. It'll be shown with a small arrow. You need to have with you an isometric ellipse template and an isometric set square and some really sharp quality grey lead pencils. Let's start by practicing drawing basic cubes. Now, what you can do is line up your set square with the base of the page in order to get your perfect 90 or 30 degree lines. Or if you're working at the top of the page in the exam paper, you can rule across from the side what we call a baseline. And you actually will line up your set square on that for all of your different lines. Let's start by doing a basic 5 mil by 50 mil by 50 mil by 50 mil cube. First of all, you draw the corner facing you first. Always draw it a little bit longer than what I need. See how I'm lining this up at the base of the page? Like that. And I flip the set square over like this. So isometric drawing, you normally always um, start with the corner facing you. And drawing things as basic cubes first at the correct measurements. Then I go and I measure 50, 50. So isometric drawing is a mathematical drawing that's used by manufacturers. So we have to be very accurate with our measurements. Draw the back of the cube, sit my set square on the base of the page, vertical line there, measure that at 50 mil. The more accurate you get your crates, the more accurate your final drawing will be. Now if I line up just there, that over, so that is a basic 50 mil by 50 mil cube. And okay, so now we're going to talk about isometric ellipses. This is your isometric ellipse template. What the examiner is looking for is that you are lining up these ellipses at the correct angle <clears throat> and using the correct dimensions. I prefer to use uh, drawing center lines as a technique. So if we're putting an ellipse on the top, I find the center of where I want my ellipse to be. And I rule a isometric 30 degree cross. Like this. Now on my ellipse template, if you look really closely, you can see it actually has eight lines. And we actually use these those lines there we actually use these to line up our ellipse template so I'm doing using the not the lines at the top and the bottom the edges but the angled lines so on the top plane of my isometric ellipse the ellipse template sits perfectly horizontal right hand side
the right hand side. The ellipse template actually sits at a 60 degree angle. So I'm still lining it up with those points on the ellipse template like this. Now, if you happen to try and do it at this angle, that would be incorrect and you would not get any marks for that. So you need to make sure that you're getting it at that 60 degree angle there. And the left hand side. Making sure that your center point, so you're going from the center, so you basically draw an isometric square where you want the ellipse template to go. And you are finding the center point of that. Then you are lining up your lip, ellipse template so that it meets all of those lines. Obviously choosing the correct diameter. We go now in an exam one thing i do recommend for my students to do if you're unsure is actually quickly when you get into your exam on that page quickly rule in quickly do a quick diagram like that so that you remember which angle your isometric ellipses should be going on those pages now if this happens to be say a um a camera with a lens what we need to do then say it's coming out from this side the lens actually projects out at a 30 degree angle so from the center point here you measure how far out it projects so if it comes out 20 mil measure that 20 mil and it's actually quite easy then we're using the same ellipse template to actually line it up with these lines here and you have like a lens that's coming out if you're doing a funnel the same thing occurs so you'd find little upright lines And we do the same thing where we make sure that our lips to plate is running parallel and we're lining it up with those points there and there. All right, now what if you're asked to do a, an isometric ellipse that isn't in the center of that side of the rectangle? Just perhaps it's um, I'm going to draw quickly draw another isometric crate and I'll show you what you need to do. same thing follow along with me I'm drawing like a um, a long rectangle rectangle or something now say I needed to curve off that angle or change the side of this angle into an isometric ellipse here so that's I've got a curved edge on it what I do is I find the center point I actually find the diameter of what that ellipse would have been and I put that in as a rectangle sorry a square an isometric square I 
and then I find the center of that. And then using my isometric ellipse template, the correct diameter, I do the same technique where I line, I'm lining it up with these four points just there. And I'm ruling in that curve. Now we mustn't forget this curve here. So what I can do then is I actually have to imagine that this is see-through. And I draw in that same Making sure, put my set square, my um, template on there. And there I've actually curved off incorrect isometric drawing the um, edge of that. Now, say I needed to put a little button up here. What I can do is just find the center point of where that button needs to go by ruling lines correct isometric angle. So say the center of that button needs to go here. So I've drawn that line, two 30 degree lines because it's on the top. So we're actually working with this one. So with these sides, I'm working with this and with this one, I'm working with that angle. So I actually do the same thing. I find those four angled lines, place it on the top, and that is at the correct angle there. Isometric ellipses.